What up, y'all? It is me, your favorite current Nigerian. Today, we are back with another video. I haven't been on YouTube in a very long time. Well, probably like a couple of months, but it's felt like a while to me um, for a lot of different reasons, mainly because I've been trying to figure out how to make this platform work. Um, honestly, it's been quite challenging. I'm new to YouTube. I have no idea what's going on. I still don't know what's going on, but we're overcoming our fears and our objections. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys things that I recently picked up um, and things that I've been getting into. Uh, I'm excited. Some of these things are gonna be new, thrifted. Some of them are also going to be gifted collaboration. So it's a super chill, casual video today. Um, make sure y'all hit a thumbs up like comment let me know what you guys want to see from me that being said let's get into today's video so one of the things i've been getting into or well, i feel like i'm wanting to get more into this summer is graphic tees um for some reason i've never been like a graphic tee person or graphic tees person um and so just wanting to get more into that um so i recently picked up this I recently picked up this shirt. Uh, this is from Bodega. Um, they were having like a 40% off sale. I decided to get this like uh, billionaire boys club um, shirt. It is a little bit long on me. Um, so I am thinking about going to get it tailored just because, you know, it feels like a dress and I don't want to dress. Um, rule of thumb that I always tell myself is I wear things once or twice and if I and see how I feel about them and then if I feel like I need to get them tailored then I get them tailored um, I really love the graphic it's super bright um, there's a lot of colors happening and I feel like that's something that I can really play up like some jeans t-shirt some rings accessories and like a nice pop of color shoes or something I feel like would work really well this next thing I picked up like I want to say two or three months ago um, this is from Crossroads. I've been leaning away from like the Goodwills and stuff like that just because I feel like sometimes it's a lot of work and I have to be in the right mind space and headspace to like go through all the things that are there. Um, so this I got, what I'm about to show you guys, I got from Crossroads. Um, it is from this brand called Frame, um, which I'd never heard of until I obviously went to Crossroads. But this is a women's like jacket, jacket situation. It originally had a belt on it, but when I saw it, it didn't have a belt and I really liked the way that it fit. Is this like button up uh, jacket situation? Um, I also really love the buttons and I love the low neckline on here. I think I have showed this in one of my recent like thrifting videos that I picked this up. Um, the back is also cut like a little bit more feminine but I think that it really works. I feel like this is something that I could easily like dress up, um, especially for like going out with some friends or just like date night or whatever the case may be. I'm yet to style this, but I felt like this was a great addition to my wardrobe and to my closet because I feel like this is something timeless that I can have for a very long time. I recently got into this brand, uh, Cotton, probably a couple months ago. Um, I was looking for brands that are like had really great basics and things like that and I happened to come across Cotton. Um, this video is not sponsored by the way but Cotton if y'all want to sponsor a girl let me know. Um, but yeah I've been really loving Cotton. They have so many great basics and the, just the quality and material of their items. Um, honestly like all the basics and things that I have in my closet are starting to come from Cotton. I recently picked up this women's collarless shirt. Um, Y'all have probably seen me style this in my TikTok videos as well. Um, I really love the material of this shirt. It is super lightweight, super breathable. Um, I also love this like minimal touch. Like you can't really see the buttons on the shirt, um, which I think is pretty cool. They had this in a white and a green. Um, and I went with this like almost sage pastel -y color. I did go with a 2XL because I wanted to go for like a more oversized fit. Women's sizing tend to be like a little bit more tighter fitting, obviously. So I tend to size like up. I really love this shirt. I'm excited for this because this is a perfect summer staple. I feel like some, you know, uh, tank top inside, you can leave the button open or you can even button it all the way up um, and it gets the job done. So 
Yeah, this next pickup is actually from Zara. Um, this is a crossbody bag. Um, I have not, I've been wanting to get into crossbody bags, but I was yet to find a crossbody bag that I actually really like. And so I wanted something that was like more of an everyday wear. Um, I think this was like 19 bucks or 20 bucks. Uh, there was like when Zara was having their like summer sale or whatever. Um, so I picked these up. At first, I honestly did not like this because it felt really cheap. Um, and it still does feel really cheap, but I think that for the purpose of it being an everyday wear, I feel like from far away, you can't really tell like that the material is a little cheap, but I feel like the closer you look at it, like you can obviously feel and see that it is a little bit like not the greatest material, but for the purpose that it serves, I think it's great. It's an everyday bag that, you know, I can put stuff in. There's a lot of space in here to throw a lot of things. Um, and really, I just wanted something that I felt like I could just throw on with any outfit um, and keep it pushing. Another Zara pickup. Uh, this is a linen over shirt. Um, I, I think this was a men's uh, linen over shirt. Um, it's in a size large. Again, linen is a great material for summer. It is ridiculously hot. I cannot tell y'all how hot it is out here in LA. Um, I did not realize that. This is my first full year living in LA. And last year, I almost, okay, I don't want to exaggerate. I didn't die, but it was extremely hot and I was not prepared at all. So this summer, I'm coming prepared. I know the things I need to have in my closet. I think linen is a great addition to that. So. Um, I picked this up like a couple months ago, um, and again, I think I probably style this in one of my TikTok videos, but yeah, it's just very casual, like something you just throw over things. Again, one of those things you could even dress up or dress down, um, which I feel like is the theme of every clothes in my closet. This was a recent pickup, um, and honestly, this was like a gem that I found. This is a Alexander Wang long sleeve, like knit, like shirt long sleeve situation um i had my partner distress it a little bit more because when i picked it up um it was a little bit distressed on the size and stuff and i think whoever wore it before kind of patched it up which kind of left this cool uh thing on it um so i had her like distress it a little bit more just to give it this like i guess like sort of kanye yeezy vibes um i thought it was pretty cool and also it's super lightweight, another thing that's great for the summer because right now I'm working on trying to build a more uh, cohesive summer wardrobe that I can actually wear. Cause I came with a lot of sweaters, vests and things like that. And that's all great and stuff. But when summer gets here, y'all, it is too hot to put all those layers on. I've also been getting into mesh lately, um, which I think is, is actually really cool. Um, I have been trying, not necessarily trying to stray away from like men's wear, but I think that sometimes men's wear can get a little boring. And personally, in my space of androgyny right now, I think I'm wanting to explore more women's wear and things like that. So um, I have been gravitating towards mesh, things that are a little bit more tighter fitting, um, which is has been an experience. Obviously you guys are gonna get to be a part of this experience as I start to explore this and figure out how I actually do wanna incorporate this into my wardrobe and style. Um, but another recent pickup that I did was this Cotton Citizen uh, long sleeve shirt. It's really, really lightweight. It's almost like this see-through material. Um, and I like this almost like vintage look that it gives um it's a little bit more tighter fitting and again i've been leaning into those more tighter fitting things um which is really cool and i like kind of where it's going so i picked this up from crossroad again i think it was like 15 bucks um which honestly can't complain this is like a women's button-up knitwear sweater um but yeah i picked up this carol horn uh sweater situation this is a women's sweater and i really just like the way it fell on me again i've been leaning to things that are a little bit more tighter um and not necessarily because i'm wanting to stray away from menswear but i think that it's just fun to play with silhouettes that are a little bit different and i'm also i guess i'm just like in this phase where i am learning to love 
all parts of me. Growing up, I literally hated wearing things that were extremely tight. Um, and so I think that obviously translated into, as I got older um, and I've just kind of been like, I don't wanna wear that. If it hugs my body too tight, it's like a whole experience. But I guess I'm learning to reclaim that and you know, obviously translated it into what makes me feel comfortable. Um, and so yeah, I don't know, it's been really cool. I also love the color, this like lilac color, nice little pop of color because I'm a neutral bay and half of my closet is full of neutral tones. So excited to add some color and I thought that um, this would be really cool to add. These are by the brand Vela. I did not know too much about them, but these glasses, I think I got them for like 25 bucks and they're retail at like 210. Um, but they're these like honey color glasses. Um, they don't have like too much of a dark tint on them, but I do like them because they're just something a little bit different. I also like the shape. Um, yeah, these are, I feel like these are sort of five finger. I'm looking for like an everyday glasses that I can wear uh, with my outfit, especially because of the sun and how hot it gets out here. Um, but yeah, I got these from Crossroads. Again, shout out to Crossroads. At this point, y'all need to sponsor these videos. Um, but yeah, shout out to Crossroads because I found these uh, and they were only 25 bucks. So I got these like quite a while ago, actually. Yeah, I'm excited to start wearing these uh, this summer. I think it'll be a cool little addition to the outfits. Um, this is another crossbody bag also from Crossroads. Uh, I really liked it. Um, but one thing I will say is I don't like this like uh, handle or this part right here. So I am thinking about like either changing it or getting something that allows me to change the strap. Um, it just feels a little bit like cheap in my opinion, but I do like the bag itself and it feels like great quality. Um, and there's a lot of pockets in here actually, which is really nice. It works. It works as an everyday bag, um, and you can kind of wear it either way, like you can wear it front facing or back facing. Wanted a better quality crossbody bag, especially after the one from Zara, and I felt like this was a justified purchase. We're working towards adding color to my wardrobe just because I stick to what I know, which is neutrals. So I got these uh, balloon pants, uh, these were, I believe, like $15. Um, I like the way they fit, and they're kind of a little bit washed out, which I think is a cool touch, in my personal opinion. Um, and I feel like it's just something to throw on, you know? Like, some days I don't want to do too much or figure out, think about what I have to wear, and I just thought this was one of those things where, you know, a nice white shirt, some sneakers, maybe a hat, and keep it pushing. I love these hats. Um, I feel like they just, I don't know. I prefer these hats to like the traditional baseball caps. Um, I like the silhouette a little bit better. I also think it fits my head shape a little bit better. Um, so I recently picked these up. They just say camp vibes on them. Nothing too crazy, nothing too special, but I did like the color um, and just the cool graphic and just the way the um, things are written on it. I think it's cool. Uh, it's from this brand called Polar. Um, but yeah, another summer purchase. These were also, I believe, $8. They were half off. But let's get into this heavy, heavy ass H&M studio jacket that I picked up. I posted this video styling these. A lot of y'all really like this jacket and I'm glad that I got it because when I first saw it, I was really feeling iffy about it. Quality is freaking amazing. So much detailing on it. Just the color. It's just a dope ass jacket. From H&M uh, collection, from their studio collection. I think it says 2017, I believe. Um, but yeah, it's a hand braided, uh, custom made jacket. Very heavy. Um, obviously not a summer jacket that I'll be wearing at all, but a great addition to my closet. We love a good carpet defense. Um, these are from the brand Beautiful Struggles. Uh, these pants were retailed, are retailed at 250, and I believe I got these for like 20 bucks. 
and this is why I love thrifting. Um, I have styled these in my previous videos. Um, I didn't have carpenter pants, and one of the things I really liked about these pants is that it is like the material is so so soft. And one of the things I don't like about like utility wear pants is that like sometimes it just be so stiff. You know what I'm saying? And so. I like that these were so much softer, it's giving relax, it's giving like, it's just giving chill, casual vibes, and that's the vibe that I'm always on. Love these pants, and shout out to the brand Beautiful Struggles. Um, I did not know much about them until I saw these pants and I did my research. Um, but yeah, really dope brand, and y'all should uh, definitely check them out. Um, I've also thrifted a graphic tee from them. Um, yeah, which is pretty dope. The few pants I've picked up, um, are also these vintage think vintage uh, these vintage Levi slack pants um, these are beautiful um, I love these pants the only thing with them I will say is that they're extremely long and I have a number of things that I want to get tailored that I am waiting to have like a number of things so that I can just drop them off all at once it's giving vintage I like the way they sit on my butt um, and just like how they look, they just feel really nice. They feel like great quality. Um, and I had like black slack pants, but they're more like wide leg loose pants. And these were a little bit more tailored. And I think that once I do hem them, um, they will sit a little bit better. And I've styled these also in my TikTok videos. Most of these outfits that you see, you can also find on my TikTok channel, which I will put in the link in the bio. Um, a lot of these things, when I get them, I do style them on my video, or at least I do talk about them. These are Converse Chuck Taylors. Never been a fan. Actually, I like. I have been a fan of Chucks, but I think one of the things that stopped me from, or strayed me away from buying them, is obviously what we all know and hear from people, is that these are mad uncomfortable. So I was a little hesitant, but I know that they did like do a rebrand or something, and like... I guess are working towards making their shoe a little bit more comfortable. I love the contrast of the color on them. Um, again, I'm looking to get more into color and things like that, and I thought that this would be a great addition, not only to spring, but also to my summer closet. Um, they're just a nice silhouette. They're easy to style. I actually also style these in one of my other videos, so y'all should check them out. I have a gifted perfume. These are from Ralph Lauren. Uh, shout out to Ralph Lauren for sending me these. Um, I I underestimated Ralph Lauren colognes. Um, this right here is a polo red, and y'all, this I it just smells so good. Um, it's giving grown, you know, it's giving grown and sexy. Um, this is this is. This is giving grown and sexy too, but like a different type of grown. Like this is giving like 20s grown. This is giving like 30s, 40s grown. Um, but yeah, shout out to Ralph Lauren. They sent me some cologne and uh, these have been definitely in my rotation. Um, they smell amazing. I've been mixing them together um, and I really love the way they smell. But yeah, those are gonna be all of the things I recently picked up within the last couple of months. Um, I'm thinking about doing like a summer mood board lookbook type situation of things that I am going to be getting into um, because summer is quickly approaching. So let me know what you guys wanna see from me um, or what you guys need help with, um, what you guys are excited about. Let me know what you guys is, uh, what's on your summer wish list. Um, but yeah, today's video was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I will catch you guys in another one. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and I will see you guys in another one. Okay. This Goodwill is kind of a lot of right now.